This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 17th of July. I'm James Spann. Another beautiful day today, but the weather changes tomorrow and over the weekend with moist air coming back. Let's take a look this morning. This is the water vapor satellite view. Again, uh, that trough over the east really helping to pull down some incredible air. Record lows this morning. Okay, we'll take a look at the numbers in just a second, but off to the west... Note how the weather is unsettled over Texas and Oklahoma. They've had the showers and storms yesterday, last night, and this morning, and that impulse will bring rain back to Alabama possibly as early as tomorrow. But yes, indeed, it feels good. 52 at Fort Payne. Uh, these were captured at 5 o'clock this morning. I mean, keep in mind, they're just like three degrees away from being in the 40s here in the middle of July. That's remarkable. Uh, at that point, Birmingham had 62. That tied the record. We beat the record uh, easily, I think, as uh, those numbers will fall uh, before uh, we start to see the numbers coming back up. We'll expect mid-80s today with low humidity. And again, much of the eastern U.S. in very, very refreshing air. Uh, but moist air coming back over Texas. There is a slight risk of severe weather over parts of the Lone Star State today. And look at the rain for the next five days. Really big numbers to the west between four and five inches from the Mississippi Delta over to the Red River Valley around here. That's suggesting rain amounts of about two inches. And the tropics, very quiet. Part of the reason for that, that dry dust, uh, dry air coming off the coast of Africa, covering much of the deep tropics. And as long as that's out there, uh, not much will happen. We'll check modeling. This is the GFS, the uh, OZ run, valid today at one o'clock local time. This is at 500 millibars. You can see uh, the trough beginning to flatten out, and you can see wave energy west of the state, though. And again, that will impact Alabama tomorrow and over the weekend with a chance of rain returning, but today will be a okay. Lots of sun with a high in the mid 80s. Dew points stay low, meaning the humidity, of course, will stay very low, just like yesterday. Tomorrow, yes, indeed, the moisture comes back. In fact, the uh, uh, now the GFS kind of suggesting just maybe there could be some rain tomorrow morning. It's been waffling on the timing here. Let's look at the NAM, and by golly, it looks wet. This is 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is suggesting rain breaking out uh, over the northern third of the state, uh, north of a line from, well, north of Interstate 20. And uh, if that keeps up on the 12Z runs, we'll have to mention the chance of rain as early as tomorrow morning. This is late tomorrow night, just after midnight, 1 a.m. Saturday. Looks awfully wet. And let's look at the weekend. This is Saturday coming off the GFS. And again, we've seen different looks. And, and I'll say one thing about Saturday. A lot of people have plans outdoors. It's not going to rain all day. And the sun might pop out at times. So don't think it's going to be a total washout, but no doubt there should be some rain at times. Uh, this is the high-res NAM Saturday at 1 o'clock, showing a pretty good bit of rain across the state. And this is Sunday. The moisture axis stays in place. And again, the same kind of deal. We'll have a few passing showers and storms, but I don't think it rains all day long. Uh, highs for the weekend, mid-80s with a limited amount of sun. This is Monday of next week, uh, 596 heat building over West Texas and New Mexico. And for us, we stay in a moist air mass. And again, that will mean the risk of at least scattered showers and storms, maybe numerous at times. Tuesday, looks like the shower is thinning out a little bit. And this is Wednesday of next week. Looks like a pretty typical day. Highs will probably be back around 90, partly sunny with maybe an afternoon storm in scattered spots. And this is a week from today. Uh, the... Uh, Higher heights, the heat bubble back over the four corners over the southwest United States. We've still got broad troughing over the east and down below that. That looks pretty routine for summer. Partly sunny, maybe an afternoon storm in spots with a high at or just over 90. We'll check the end of the forecast August 1st. Summer rolling along. Again, the idea we've got ridging in the west and troughing in the east, and if that's the case, the heat really won't get out of hand. That's typically the hottest time of the year right there, the 1st of August, and that would suggest maybe a few scattered storms. And there's a look at the high lows coming off the ensemble. And again, those numbers just don't look bad as we look toward late July and early August with highs mostly in the lower 90s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.